Dennis, let's give him a little acceleration in the wild cat. Not too bad, not too bad. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we've got an amazing car for you. I'm with Dennis, Dennis, your last name? Uh, Dennis Durge. And Dennis had a car dealership, a Buick dealership for how many years? Uh, been a Buick dealer for almost 40 years. <laughs> And you're seeing some of his personal cars. Now, before we get to this car, I want to give a little shout out to some of our friends, although it's in Illinois, as I like to call it, Illinois. Uh, right now, it's a perfect day. But very soon, it's going to be cold. And even on the days that aren't cold, we both use California car covers to cover our cars and keep them clean. So I wanted to give a little shout out to our friends at California Car Cover and let you know that we'll put the description of California Car Cover's website in our description of this video if you want to check it out. But they've got not only car covers, which if you have a, haven't got a car cover, you want to check them out, call them up. But you also want to check out some of their other stuff. Pretty cool place. So Dennis, what year, make, and model car do we have here? This is a 1963 Buick Wildcat, uh, four-speed, dual-quad, 401 nail head, recently nut and bolt restoration, frame-off restoration. <laughs> Ah, uh, this one, well, I'll let it speak for itself. Yeah, this little wild cat is just what it says. Well, Dennis, this is one wild cat. <laughs> nice. Right off the bat. And a, and a one-year body style only. And some interesting pieces. Right off the bat, the thing that caught my attention was that gap in there so I'll let you take that in again and then you have this floating Buick logo which I thought was super cool and then almost it seems like an induction like system with the grill how that silver catches it to give you that just right look and then the hood ornament chrome that goes straight down the center with a little lift to it to cut the wind. So come on back with me, Dennis. How long have you had this one? About five years. And did you find it? It found you? I found it. Okay. Let me keep going back to right. This car is one of 346 cars built with a four-speed and less than 22 doors had a four-speed in 1963. So it's an extremely rare car. I've never seen another four-speed, to be honest with you. Have you seen another Wildcat 63 two-door? Yes, I have. Okay. So, man, this is a good one. I really like, somehow they pulled off that piece right there and cut it at the door instead of going the whole body panel down and somehow that all works just right. I'll show you. What kind of rims do they call these? Those are Buick chrome wheels. Chrome wheels. And you can see the... It has 12-inch aluminum brake drums finned. Behind it. I'll just show you how straight this car is. Let me take this this way. I'll give you that view. <laughs> That's straight. Has a nice curvature to the windshield. I think just the right mirror for it too. Somehow it really, you know, it just has the right shaping and structure to it. We'll come to that interior in a second. Obviously, it has the vinyl top. Nice hard top configuration there. The all important Wildcat script. Our door that opens like so. And while we have these engine compartment in the sun, let's take a look at that and then we'll end up 
starting it and turning it around, giving you the back end of this car, which might I add is really good too. <laughs> that is quite the little motor. Wow. Now what do we have here? Is this a... Uh, That's a vacuum tank for the power brakes. For the power brakes. Got it. Just a single cylinder there I see on the master single brakes. Single cylinder. Okay. I like how they put the chrome piece there for the wires. And then the Buick you could see there. Single quad? It, this is a 401... 340 horse dual quad, dual quad Buick. Two four barrels. Two four barrels. So there's. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me see if I can get the camera just right. And we can maybe get it in there to see both of those. This has got quite the setup. Got the horns. All right. Well, let's uh, let's fire it up, shall we? I just want to show you that head too with the pieces there. To the exhaust end of this. Dual exhaust? Dual exhaust. Okay. Can we uh, step on the brakes for a second? There you go. There's our dual exhaust. Alright, let's uh, give it a rev, shall we? Let's give it a rev. some of the moisture out of that one. One more time, Dennis. <laughs> so while we're here at the engine, we're going to show you that two four barrels. And I also wanted to show you that tag right there that I like to feature. So that one was there. <laughs> There's your dual four barrels. Alright, that's Magnificent. While you're putting that back on, I'm going to feature our interior. So let me come on over here. Let me just show you that from that angle. And now we'll move a little closer. So we have the Wildcat emblem there. I really thought that was a good move. We have our Buick piece there. Clearly this is for the mirror. This is for the side window here. For our main window. Don't forget the four speed. Oh, I won't forget the four speed. Our buckets. You can hear that wonderfully there. And the nice ribbing, as you can see across the top, The proper amount of pedals, our tilting wheel, working clock. You know, there's no missing the word wildcat on this one. No, it's everywhere. <clears throat> you have it also over there. Now the one thing that Buick didn't do too well was put the tack down by your knees. Very hard to see. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't the best idea. But we'll show that. And then we got the lighter ashtray here. We'll show you how that feature comes down like that. I thought this was nicely done here. With the 
aircraft like pieces and notice that flips over and goes to FM like so or AM your rear vent your left vent your wipers your lights and back to the four speed here and that is really a nice console I mean they really did that well I'm just going to take it all the way from the back so it starts back here with a light for the person in the back then a nice Buick logo coming up to a nice well designed four speed and that that is really wonderful the way they did that I will turn it around to show the uh, truck and we got a few treats. So here's the back of this car and I want to share with you the beauty of this car as well. I think fins are fun and this car clearly has some fins as you can see. So the wild cat has that. Now I thought there was some really cool pieces. I think they really did a nice job. I'll make sure they get out of the way of the light of that. I think that was a really good Buick logo that they made stick out and then the wildcat there with the Buick across the back and again the wildcat here and I'll just show you that back quarter on this one let's show them we've got a little bit of trunk and treats for this one so that Buick will move over like so big trunk lots of room clearly no question where the tire goes but that's, that's a lot of room and although we have the 63 service manual the owner's guide the 63 owner's guide with some details for you in there some pictures a state wagon convertible top you know a Delco battery you know, there's your different engines and things for hauling a trailer you know the Wildcat two-door hard top two-door four window convertible, two-door window pillarless coupe which is what we're looking at, the Electra. But this is a time period correct motor trend January 63 and they feature the Buick Wildcat. So this was a good article. This one talks about our performance It talks about, we've highlighted there, this big one from Buick will satisfy a lot of people hidden behind the cloak of four-door respectability. Pausing it enough, so hopefully you can just read that whole article if I give it to you that way. And that's our motor trend from 1963. Nice how they cleaned up the trunk and put our jack over here. And our jack stand there. Well, Dennis, I think uh, we've got to take this one for a uh, take this one for a ride. Yeah, let's go out and drive it. Thanks. So we're getting in our ride with Dennis. We're greeted with the body by Fisher, the adjustment. And let's not forget, well, if you didn't have enough Wildcats in this car, there's one right on the seatbelt. So we'll use that one. And I'm here with Dennis. Dennis, good to see you. Good to see you, Lou. Let me shut that door. And uh, although our tech is maybe not in the best spot, that four-speed sure does us well. 
So let's uh, take this one for a ride. You ready for a fun ride? I am ready for a fun ride, and so are the viewers. <laughs> now, just for clarity, you don't take this out that often. I don't take it out unless it's a nice day. Unless it's a nice day. Just and, like this. And this is the first time you've had this one out this year. First time this year. So here we go. This car runs really strong. That sounds great. It feels good, right? It's hard to get the smile off your face. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And we have a perfect day. So we're going to let you enjoy that with us. So I know you've had the dealership for 40 years, the Buick dealership. And how much of it is a treat to to make it a car of your own, so to speak? It's just just a lot of fun. I mean, I, I, I enjoy it now more than I ever have. When did you first become a car guy? As a kid? When I was, when I was 14. 14? Yeah. How did you decide you wanted to own a Buick dealership? Well, my dad was a used car manager for a Buick dealership in Elgin, where I, where I lived. Yeah. And uh, I washed cars on Sunday for him. And that was the start of it, and it's been, I've been doing it ever since. Did you show you where we're at? I really enjoyed it. And this is good stuff. But this is this is a car that you never see. Uh, they made 300 and some four speeds in 1963, and uh, I've never seen another one, to be honest with you. The all important four speed. I mean, this one just cruises wonderfully. I mean, it cruises as nice as a new car. For a big car, this car cruises good. Yeah. But yeah, what? A, so when you do take this out, what's the reaction? It just it brings a mob scene everywhere you take it. Nobody's ever seen one. <laughs> it brings a mob Nobody. scene. They all, you got to explain to them what it is, where it came from. And, uh, it's a numbers matching car. It's a hundred percent original the way it was built in 1963. All the numbers match. Engine, transmission, rear end. Has a 342 positive traction rear end. Let's get a little it, acceleration. It, it, right. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Let's get something going. <laughs> get something going. So, Dennis, what an amazing car. If people like what they see, subscribe, hit the bell and uh, make sure you uh, hit the bell so that you can see all the great cars. Subscribe to the channel. Dennis, what a treat. So much fun. Thanks for bringing this car to the channel. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here and a pleasure to drive with you. Thanks.